Good morning, happy Monday. And uh, as happened sometimes when I was uh, sharing the message yesterday, I forgot an important point about Jesus in, in John 13 when he says he loved those whom God had given him. He loved them to the end. And one of the things about the love of God, the everlasting love of God, is it's not a love that can be taken from God. It's a, it's a, it's a love that he willingly gives to us. And that's a huge distinction because it's not as if it's something we earn or can achieve or somehow finally stir God up enough uh, and, and stir his affections up toward us enough where he finally says, okay, I'm going to love you, right? God's love comes to us. It's freely, willingly given. And nowhere is this even more poignantly displayed than in John chapter 10 when Jesus is talking about being the good shepherd and the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. And he makes this distinction. He says, no one takes my life from me. I lay it down willingly and I raise it up again. And likewise is his love for us. He he lays it down for us. He gives it to us. It, it's not anything we can take. It's not anything we can achieve or, or grab hold of. It grabs hold of us because he first and willingly and gladly uh, pours out his love toward us. As that powerful passage in Romans 8 says, he who did not spare his own son for us, uh, will he withhold anything from us? Will, will he not give us all things? And the all things there is his very life. And so this morning, just kind of a little addendum to the message yesterday, but but that everlasting love of God, that that love that Jesus puts on display, that, that, that love that loves to the end comes willingly, gladly from the throne of God. And so be loved today. I, I can't say it any more simpler than that. Be loved today. Can't wait to be with you. Bye-bye.